Depending on their size and weight, aerosols carrying a cargo of viruses and bacteria can float for hours in room air and spread throughout the building via the air conditioning system. The risk of infection rises proportionally to the time spent in this environment and is directly influenced by the level of room air humidity. Above 45% relative ambient humidity, infectious aerosols from our airway still contain a lot of water and are thus heavy and sticky. The time they float in the air is therefore much shorter as they become deposited on floors and surfaces. In addition, the bonding forces between their water content and the surfaces cause wet aerosols to adhere more strongly to these surfaces, thus making it harder for them to be swept back into the air. If air humidity is sufficiently high, there is therefore a lower risk of breathing in infectious aerosols. If office air humidity is below 40%, however, dry aerosols with crystallized salts emerge, which are smaller and lighter than wet aerosols. They stay airborne much longer, are less sticky, and therefore do not clump together so easily. Air conditioning units and office activities cause dry aerosols to be rapidly swept off surfaces back into the air, where they continue to spread. Low humidity increases the risk of infection by flu and cold viruses, not least because these viruses remain contagious for a longer period.